This presentation will familiarize you with the six components of the complete blood count, or CBC. The methods of performing the CBC and a normal range of values will be introduced. The complete blood count consists of the following components. The red blood cell, or erythrocyte count, the hemoglobin concentration, the white blood cell, or leukocyte count, the hematocrit, the blood indices, and the differential white blood cell count. In the past, blood cell counts were made by technicians counting individual red and white blood cells using a microscope. Recent advances in electronics have led to the automation of many routine hematological tests. Newer automated methods are faster, reduce the chance of errors, and free technicians for more important tasks. One example of blood count automation is the high cell counter. This device in a three-step automated process can measure the red blood cell count, the white blood cell count, and the hemoglobin concentration in approximately one minute. Prior to testing, the blood sample is diluted with an isotonic buffered saline solution using an automatic diluter. Two different dilutions are required. For the first dilution, the automatic diluter mixes 25 microliters, or 0.025 milliliters, of the sample with 9.975 milliliters of saline solution and dispenses the mixture into a vial. This produces a 1 to 400 dilution, which is used for measuring the hemoglobin concentration and the white blood cell count. The second dilution requires 25 microliters of the previously mixed 1 to 400 dilution. This is drawn up into the automatic diluter, dispensed into another vial with 9.975 milliliters of isotonic buffered saline solution and thoroughly mixed. This produces a 1 to 160,000 dilution, which is used for the red blood cell count. The red blood cell count requires a greater dilution due to the higher concentration of red blood cells in the blood. The 1 to 160,000 diluted sample is placed on the tray in the high cell counter and lifted up into the sensor. The button for the red blood cell count is pressed. This causes the blood sample to be drawn up through a 100 micron aperture and past a sensor that counts the passing particles. Each particle produces a change in impedance, which generates an electronic pulse that is summed by the machine. Corrections are made for the simultaneous passage of more than one particle past the sensor. Within a few seconds, the red blood cell count appears on the digital display as trillions of red blood cells per liter. A normal value for adult females is 4.2 to 5.5 trillion RBCs per liter. For adult males, it is 4.5 to 6.3 trillion RBCs per liter. Before the hemoglobin concentration or the white blood cell count is made, a lysing reagent is added to the 1 to 400 diluted sample. The lysing reagent has two purposes. One, it lyses or destroys the red blood cells that are in the sample so as to prevent their interference with the counting of the white blood cells. And two, it reacts with the released hemoglobin to form cyanomethmoglobin, a compound which is used in the color metric determination of the hemoglobin concentration. To determine hemoglobin concentration, the lysed 1 to 400 dilution sample is placed on the tray of the high cell. The trap door is closed to exclude extraneous light, and a beam of light is passed through the sample. The hemoglobin concentration, or specifically the cyanomethmoglobin concentration, is directly proportional to the amount of light absorbed by the sample. The hemoglobin concentration appears on the digital display as grams of hemoglobin per deciliter of blood. A normal value for adult females is 12 to 16 grams of hemoglobin per deciliter of blood. A normal value for adult males is 14 to 18 grams of hemoglobin per deciliter of blood. After measuring the hemoglobin concentration, 
The door of the high cell is opened and the sample is lifted up into the counting chamber. The button for the white blood cell count is pressed and the sample is drawn up into the sensor and counted in the same manner described for the red blood cells. Within a few seconds, the WBC count is displayed as billions of white blood cells per liter of blood. Normal values for adult males and females will fall between 4.5 and 11 billion white blood cells per liter. The volume of packed red blood cells, or VPRC, is commonly called the hematocrit, named after the tube used to measure it. The hematocrit is the percent of the blood volume which is occupied by red blood cells. It is a percent value, although it is not normally expressed with a percent sign. If drawn blood is treated with an anticoagulant and allowed to stand, it will separate into its two major fractions, plasma and cells. The heavier red blood cells will settle to the bottom, leaving the lighter liquid portion, plasma, at the top. The cellular fraction typically has a thin white layer at the top, which is referred to as the buffy coat. It is composed of platelets, lipid compounds, and some white blood cells. To determine a hematocrit or VPRC by the micro method, a small amount of the blood sample is drawn into a capillary tube which has been treated with anticoagulant. The tube is sealed at the bottom with a wax plug and placed into a centrifuge for a few moments. This device spins the blood samples at high speed, causing an increased gravitational force on the cells, thereby speeding the rate at which they settle. The blood cells, most all of which are red blood cells, become packed at the bottom of the tube. Two measurements are now required, the height of the total blood volume and the height of the packed red blood cell volume. In this example, the height of the total blood volume is 60 millimeters and the height of the packed red blood cell volume is 27 millimeters. Note that the wax plug is not a part of the measurement. 27 is divided by 60 to obtain the fraction of the total blood volume which is occupied by the red blood cell volume. This number is then multiplied by 100 in order to express it as a percent. In this example, 45% of the blood volume is occupied by the red blood cell volume. The hematocrit or VPRC of this sample is the percent expressed without the percent sign. In other words, the hematocrit or VPRC for this sample is 45. Normal values for the hematocrit in adult women range from 37 to 47, and for adult men, from 40 to 54. The blood indices express the individual characteristics of red blood cells. The indices include mean corpuscular volume, mean corpuscular hemoglobin, and mean hemoglobin concentration. They are determined by mathematically relating the red blood cell count, the hemoglobin concentration, and the hematocrit. Mean corpuscular volume represents the volume of the average red blood cell and is expressed in femtoliters. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin represents the amount of hemoglobin by weight in an average red blood cell. It is expressed in picograms. Mean corpuscular hemoglobin concentration represents the concentration of hemoglobin in a red blood cell and is expressed in grams per deciliter. To simplify the calculations of the blood indices, a device such as the BEST anemia classifier, which is similar to a slide rule, can be used. The red line indicator of the calculator is set on the determined values for the red blood cell count, hematocrit, and hemoglobin. The values for the three indices can then be read at the apexes of the colored arrows. For men and women, the range of normal values for MCV is 80 to 96 femtoliters. For MCH, it is 27 to 34 picograms. And for MCHC, it is 31 to 35 grams per deciliter. Note that the values of these indices are the same for male and females. The sexual difference noted in the previous hematological values is due to the number of red blood cells and not due to the differences of the individual cells. The final component of the complete blood count is the differential white blood cell count. This is a measurement of the percentages of the various types of WBC in a blood sample. To perform a differential white blood cell count manually, 
A drop of whole blood is placed on a microscope slide and drawn across the slide to produce an even layer called a smear. The smear is then stained with right stain. This colors the cytoplasmic granules and nuclei of white blood cells in such a way that different types can be distinguished from one another. As a minimum, the first 200 white blood cells are counted and classified as to type.